I'm live here uh, just outside Huntington Place for the kickoff of Media Day here at the Auto Show. And this year, of course, there's a big focus on the electric future for cars and trucks as more automakers pledge to do away with gas powered vehicles. Now, General Motors says they'll be all electric by 2035. Stellantis says it'll have 55 EVs for sale in the U.S. by 2025. Ford plans to be carbon neutral by 2050. Meanwhile, Honda plans to be all electric by 2040, similar to Ford, uh, Toyota plans to be carbon neutral by 2050. Now, startup companies in Detroit and beyond are trying to get in on the ground floor of this transformation. And while the car companies handle vehicle production, they need someone to provide the technology to power these EVs. We're doing bi-directional charging. So we're taking energy out of the battery, putting it back in the house. It's all inside the box. So you don't need any add-ons or anything. It'll actually disconnect the home run everything, and it's all set. Well, President Biden will be here for media today touting his administration's support for EV production. And the best traffic jam in downtown Detroit? Well, Ford inviting Mustang owners to stampede for the auto show this year. 1,000 Mustangs will make their way from Ford's world headquarters to downtown Detroit later today. Owners are registered for almost every state. Now, the stampede will be followed by a big reveal of the 2024 Mustang. So you can imagine just uh, the muscle that you're going to hear in downtown Detroit. Now, in addition to the stampede, there'll be a host of other events this weekend. And here's how you can get tickets. Tickets are for adults are 20 bucks. Kids 3 to 12 are 10 years old. Seniors, the ticket will cost you 12 bucks. You can purchase ahead of time or at booths inside uh, Huntington Place or outside Heart Plaza. So you'll definitely want to get down here. There's going to be a lot of excitement both inside and out. Alicia? No shortage of cool things to do. Great cars to see. It's oh, going to be a lot of fun. Keenan, thank you so much for the live update.